Before her concert with Donovan Woods at the first Ontario Performing Arts Centre, Hamilton's Tara Lightfoot took time out of her busy schedule to meet with some of her fans. The source caught up with the singer-songwriter at Laura Secord Secondary School, where she held a songwriting workshop with the students there. Tara, what is the focus of today's workshop here at Laura Secord? Uh, for me, it's inspiration, because I think in high school, sometimes kids aren't sure where to find that. And also, a really important thing, I think, for me in high school was confidence. So that's another huge part of songwriting that we're going to talk about. We want the students, obviously, to be inspired by what they see, um, to do it themselves. And of course, that's exactly what Tara's doing. She's got them creating instantly and collaborating with her. But I also want the kids to realize that these people who are in the spotlight and up there on the stage are also just regular people who are always uh, happy to, to meet everybody and bring their art down to earth so that everybody can, uh, can realize that we're all in this together. We're all kind of the same level. Today's workshop was made possible by Long and McQuaid and the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre. I think right now with Tara uh, and Donovan, they're both not on tour, so the way this, this show came about as well uh, is unique in the sense that they're both not on tour, they've never played together, but here we are bringing them together for the first time and then we're able to do something like this at Laura Secord, which is incredible. Now one of the reasons you're here today as well is to sell some tickets to these kids at a very reduced rate. What is that program all about? So there's a program called iGo, E-Y-E-G-O, and I believe it's a provincial, if not national program, that helps uh, get high school students to see shows in performing arts centers across, let's say, the, the country or province uh, at a very reduced rate. So today, uh, and it, just for five bucks, every time. Uh, so I'd say 90, 90 to 95 percent of our hot ticket performances have uh, these IGO chances available. So with tax uh, for today's show, uh, students can get a ticket for five dollars and sixty-five cents. Amazing. Which, which is amazing, yeah. Despite an almost non-stop touring schedule, Lightfoot still feels it's important to take time to reach out to the future generation of musicians. You enjoy doing these outreach things. You enjoy meeting young people mm -hmm. and trying to inspire them. Mm -hmm. Why is that so important to you? I think just because uh, I had it done for me, you know, and I, I love to give back and I think it's super important. Uh, they're going to be carrying us in a couple years, you know, so it's really important to help them get there. You're such good kids. <laughs> Do you take some of the experiences that you have on the road and with these outreach opportunities, does that make it into your songwriting for future albums? Uh, well, it may, you know. I, uh, I'm going to talk to the kids about it today, but you never know when the things that you experience will come up in your songwriting. It may be years later. It might be that day, but you never know. Tara Lightfoot's latest album is a live set recorded during the Pan Am Games at McMaster University with the National Academy Orchestra. It's available for order on the Sonic Onion website. Reporting for The Source in St. Catharines, I'm Mike Balsam.